are doing yet another mukbang and it is my favorite place. It is Taco Bell. They have these new um, caramel apple freezes. And I'm not sure how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, we figured we would try it. I actually like just like figured it out today that they had this and I was like, oh, like a caramel dipped apple. The caramel is yeah. kind of all on the it's bottom. It's drifted to the bottom. So Let's we're gonna see this. it. Actually it bad. tastes like a caramel apple. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's good. I was not really sure how I was going to like this, yeah, but this is actually really her, good. Like, I was like, so Taco Bell has some new freezes, the mm. caramel apple, and she's like, I don't know about that. I was like, it's a caramel dipped apple. She's like, I don't know. I don't so, know. It's actually pretty good though. So give it a try. I think it would be... Yeah. Awesome. Well, if you like caramel dipped apples, then yeah. you have to try. If you but don't like caramel and you don't like apples, then definitely don't try it because it's caramel and apples. Yeah. So if you don't like that combination or either or, you know, then just don't don't try it. <laughs> I'm actually super excited about having Taco Bell though because they have, they've had their Gordita Crunch boxes before and those are my absolute favorite and so they brought them back. And I'm so excited. It's um, actually like a double cheese it's, gordita. Yeah, so, I think that's what they said. I think, yeah. And then it actually comes with two crunchy tacos, but you can get... I don't like crunchy tacos, so I just traded them out for soft tacos. You I think get, that you can get... <laughs> I keep cutting you off, sorry. I think that you can get um, the Doritos Tacos Locos instead, but I think it's like an extra oh. charge. Um, I'm not like a hundred percent sure on that, but I mean, well, it's worth checking out. It's stuck. Um, we did get the slushes with the meal, but it, there was an upcharge on that. Mm -hmm. was, um, the regular was 50 cents yeah. more, and if you wanted a large, but we didn't get the large because we were not sure yeah. if we would really like them, um, but that would have been 80 cents. So we are like, mm, since we're just trying them for the very first time. We're gonna stick with the regular size. Yeah. So this is actually the gordita crunch. It just has like, I guess this is what a they call the taco gordita. In it. Yeah, they have a crunchy taco and then the softer one, and they have like meat and cheese on the like in between layer right there, mm -hmm. and then meat, cheese, and lettuce in the crunchy taco, and it's my favorite. Mmm. That is so good. So one of the topics that I did want to talk about in this video is actually another show and it's something that we have just recently started and it's actually called Castle Rock. Um, Super weird. It is really weird. It's kind of um, based on some of the, like, what's his name? Stephen King. It's mm -hmm. based on Stephen like some King. of his like books and there are so many like and since you know it's by Stephen King, you're kind of like looking out for like The Shining and all of those yeah, things. Yeah, it kind of it kind of pulls things from a lot of different movies and shows that he's done mm -hmm. into one. Um, but it is its own it's a, thing. It is its own and, show. And it's like it's interesting because it's it's got the kind of horror type aspect of it and all of his movies are kind of on the scarier like The Shining that mm -hmm. is supposed to be a scary movie and then it I mean that's a scary movie and so well it wasn't super scary no it really wasn't but, but watch Jerry watch it and it's a comedy <laughs> yeah um, but it's interesting because it pulls in all of those different things and actually there was a reference to The Shining and I actually missed it, and Rachel's the one that told me, and I've seen The Shining, and um, I think I, think I missed it too then. You probably did. Basically, um, one of the girls in the show, she says that her uncle, her aunt and uncle went on a, to a ski resort, and he basically went mad and tried to murder his wife and kid, and so... I mean, that's I mean, I it. remember that's that. Now, yeah, that's 
that's The Shining. Gosh, it's been so long since I've watched The Shining. Long time ago. Not for me. So basically the gist of the show is um, there's this kid, they call him The Kid, um, and he's actually played by the same person as um, Pennywise mm -hmm. in It. And um, so basically they find him in a tunnel system or sewer type thing um, below the prison. And the prison is actually Shawshank, which I think is another um, I think so. thing from. There's a movie or something that's Shawshank. Yeah, Shawshank Prison. I, Shawshank Redemption, I think. I don't know. I've anyway. not seen it. But um, anyways, they find him and... Apparently, they think he's the devil. They don't really know what he is. Um, and nobody knows his name. Yeah. Like, he doesn't give anybody his name. Um, and I don't know that he does that on purpose <clears throat> at first. But then, you know, Henry tells him, if you don't tell me your name, then I can't, you can't be charged. Yeah. If there's no anything. name, if you don't, if nobody knows your name, then you can't technically be charged because... I don't know. It's so anyway, he doesn't tell his name. Yeah. At I least, actually at know least. more than you. And She's watched one more episode than me. And I think that that one episode answered a lot of questions. Um, but I just can't. Like, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, and I don't want to spoil it for her. But um, basically, it answers some questions about the kid. Um, it's just a really interesting show, and if you're into more of the... Um, mysterious, S horror, yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily something that's just scary. Yeah. But it's real suspenseful and it's real thought provoking. Um, yeah, you definitely have to pay attention. Yes. And sometimes I find that really hard. Um, the seventh episode, I believe, it was um, kind of a dedicated episode to one character mm -hmm. almost. And 15, like, I was about 15 minutes in, and I was just, like, over it. The first 15 minutes was really boring to me. It was basically just, like, scenes that you had already seen. It was just from their point of view. Right. I was just like, this is so boring. That's what I thought, too. But the next, like, it's a 50-minute episode. The next, like, 35 minutes or so was absolutely incredible. And I absolutely loved it, and it answered a few questions. It made you... Um, realize a bunch of stuff about other characters and stuff like that. Um, I still, I don't think that she was the biggest fan of that episode, and a lot of people actually said I that it was really their wasn't. favorite. Really, a I lot see, of people. Because I, I may actually, have to go back and rewatch. I'm thinking what because there's so many things that it's almost like. I think if you go back and rewatch, and I'm thinking that that's what I'm gonna do is after we finish the season. I'm going to go back and re-watch it so that I can see if there, I mean, I think there's, I'm going to pick up a lot of things. Yeah. Shows like that, and I know with um, <clears throat> Pretty Little Liars, mm -hmm. shows like those that you really have to pay attention, and they kind of give you hints throughout, although right. the end of Pretty Little Liars, you would have, it just kind of came from nowhere. Mm -hmm. But um, with like the first A, and then there was like Uber A, and then... There's yeah. just too many they A's. They kind of <laughs> drag it on a little bit yeah. longer than what it should have been. But, but with shows like that, you really have to pay attention. And then I feel like if you rewatch it, you do pick up on more things. Mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely going to be one of those shows. So, yeah, that you're I gonna think I'm like, going to have to oh, do that. Yeah, Especially at, before the second season comes along. So There was it's... one episode that, knowing what I know now from the last episode that I watched... It makes a lot more sense. I think it was like episode six, um, where the kid is with Ruth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Is that when he walks in the house mm -hmm. and she's like dropped her pill bottle or something? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. It's where, or maybe, maybe it was, yeah, where they're dancing and he runs her a bath and all that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes a lot more sense. Hmm. We might have to more. watch that other episode this evening maybe yeah it definitely it's it's an interesting show i say give it a watch if you're into stuff like that mm -hmm. kind of on a previous mukbang i think about two months ago 
and um, we talked about Big Brother so we wanted to kind of touch base on that a little bit um, because like Big Brother when it is on I started to say it's our life. It's not our whole life, but we really <laughs> but three nights a week it love is love Big Brother, and so and um several of y'all commented, and so I know some of y'all are watching the show too. So basically, a lot has happened, and a lot a has changed in the house. A lot of people have gone home. People have come back, or one person has yeah, come one, back. Yeah, one person has um, come back. It's the the show is crazy. There's always stuff happening. Um, basically. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, basically. that's their motto. Because, I mean, things change in an instant. Yeah. And so, especially when they have battle back and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, which, how do we feel about Scotty coming back? I think he's probably going to go home again. You think so? Okay. So right now, we have not watched the live eviction. As of right now, Haley and Scotty are on the block. Um, I'm wanting Haley to stay. I really like level six, and I love how Tyler has played the game. Yes. Um, I, we we love Tyler. Yes, we definitely do. And oh my gosh, did you see him get his hair straightened? Oh my gosh. That yes. was the craziest that was thing. hilarious. Was like, oh wow. I mean, he has nice hair. He does like, have nice hair. But wow. I know. <laughs> um, but okay, I do love Haley, and I don't want her to go home. I would be okay if Haley won the whole game because I love her that much. Yeah, and I, I think, think the first moment got a chance if she doesn't go. If they don't send her home tonight, I think she may have a chance of winning. Yeah. But I don't know. Everybody's, There's a bunch of everybody, level six still left. Yeah, everybody's against her right now. She's kind of the only one. Um, Scotty, I guess, technically is on her side, but one of them are going home. Yeah. So. I don't oh, know. It's crazy. I do like Haley, and the moment that I actually did like her was actually when she when won she, the hacker mm -hmm. because and she did all that. She, yeah, I mean, you know, put Tyler who knew on she the was that smart? And, and yeah, I think that Tyler had kind of laid low enough to make people think that he was not that much of a threat, but Haley saw through that, mm -hmm. um, which made me like her. I mean, even though she's against Tyler, right. and I love Tyler. But it's like she was the only one smart enough to mm -hmm. like realize that. Um, I mean, so I really, I would I, be okay if she won. I really like. I her. would be. I mean, I'm thinking it. It could come down to Tyler, but it could also come down to Haley. I don't know that it could though. So I think that a lot would have to change in the house. Like loyalties would have to be like broke. Oh yeah. For in sure. order for Haley to stay, because she's after Scotty leaves or after. Then, yeah. I mean. She's alone. Yeah, and I get that, but I think, you know, like, JC and Sam are just kind of floating, floating along. And at yeah. some point, at some they're point, gonna they're going to need to make some gonna, deals. Yeah. Um, or they're going to have to get them out. Which I think that they're going to focus on Sam. Yeah. I think For that, some reason, that's been driving them crazy. Yeah. Like, she's been cleaning and she's been... I mean, well, no, no, no. I not think necessarily that, that it, but she's it, she's kind of gotten this like I don't know, I'm almost crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's like I don't know. Is she going stir crazy because she's in the house for so long? Well, she's I think also trying to quit smoking. Which and that, that is not a good time to do that. Yeah. When you're in a Big Brother house and you're trying Under to you're a lot play of stress and all that for yeah. a half a million dollars, don't try to quit smoking. Yeah, That's, I mean. That's a poor decision on her part, I think. I don't know what her reason is behind quitting. It's good that she wants to quit. It is good that she but wants to quit, but you know. it's not good that it's affecting her mood so much. Exactly. I mean, in quitting smoking or starting a diet or, I mean, any kind of life ch lifestyle changes are going to create mood swings and stuff like that. And you can't afford to have mood swings in the Big Brother house. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean... You do just the right thing, and somebody's going to say, mm, we need to get her out next week. Yeah. Which, I think that Sam has really made Haley angry. Uh-huh. Because for some oh, reason, yeah. Sam is so against Haley, and nobody knows why or anything. No. But, um, another question, how do we feel about Tyler and Angela? <laughs> I knew it was coming. Yeah. I Obviously. knew it was coming. And I, 
they've, I mean, everybody else knows too, even though they're really they're, trying to hide it. Yeah, they're really it. trying to hide it, which they seem to be doing an okay job. I mean, people know and they like assume, but they don't, they don't 100% know. know. So, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job of keeping it like a mystery as to like, are they? Are they not? We're pretty right. sure you are, but like all we can do is just assume. So yeah, I think it's funny. Yeah. Because yeah, everybody's asking, "Are y'all gonna show me?" It's and they did that little game mm -hmm. of like, if somebody um, asks, if somebody or... asks, it's two points, or if somebody dir directly says, "Y'all are in a showman's," or "Are y'all in a showman's?" or something like that, then that's two points. Mm -hmm. Or if they try, if they know that we are up here together, and or they know we're somewhere together, and they come in trying to like you know, see, yeah. then that's one point. And I think that's so funny. I know. That's a good idea, like, yeah, you know, make kinda, a game of it. Exactly. Yeah, I think they're cute. And I think they'll probably, you know, try to date outside the house. I think that would be really, really cute. <laughs> They've definitely already talked about, um, or I think he asked if she wanted to go on a date after they got mm -hmm. out of the Big Better house. I think that that's really cute. Yeah. Although they're in there for half a million dollars and they shouldn't, you know, let that cloud your judgment or anything. Right. But, but I, I think, think it was cute. Um, I guess it was last night, and they, they were both like, I feel like I'm a seventh grader. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, anyway. I can't like, wait, though. Okay, because I love the showmances in Big Brother. I can't wait for Love Island, because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be getting a, an American version of Love Island. I don't watch I that show. I love the UK version, so... So we'll we'll see if we get an American version if if we watch it too. <laughs> I'm watching it. All right, so we picked up some desserts. We got they have an apple empanada, which is like a a fried pie with apple, and I think it's got some caramel in it too. And it's so so good. And my favorite are the cinnamon delights, and I mean you just, you just can't go wrong with these. These are so good. If you've never had them. They're try them. Amazing. They're just so good. And they're not super expensive either. Mm -mm. So. But they have like a little filling in them. Mm -hmm. There's literally like icing inside of it. It's That's so good. so good. So I'm curious to know what some of your favorite shows are. So leave in the comments down below. And maybe I'll start watching some of them. I'm actually kind of looking for new shows because I'm working to finish the shows that I'm currently watching, and then I'm gonna start some new ones. Um, so anything on Hulu, any Hulu originals, Netflix originals, anything like that, um, yeah, let me know, because I need some new shows. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time we upload. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Glam Glamour on all of them. And until our next video, bye! bye.